Instead, we, we start a, a business like this where we want to go and help uh, local services, merchants sell things, get indoor, walk in traffic, you know, restaurants need it, et cetera, right? Let's pretend like all year long, we end up doing this and we end up making over five years, let's say year five, we build the business up to be able to do, uh, let's say, you know, $10 million in the year in 2000 and 2025, right? What are we in 2022? So take three years, four years to get to $10 million in revenue, gross revenue. If we take what's going on here, they're making 737 million divided by the 1 billion in revenue. So the gross profit is about 73%, 7.37 million gross profit. Damn good business. You guys can literally model this business. It's there for the taking. It's a lot of hustle, a lot of work. You got to build up you know, the business, the platform. You got to have the, the people on the sales side for both the finding the merchants. And you also have the people that have to acquire customers for you on the, on the subscriber side, right? And it's like the chicken or the egg kind of thing, right? You need money to go sub- to get the subscribers, but you also need people <laughs> to, to go sell to the merchants. So it's like that starting point is where it's a little tricky, right? Um, no one's going to give you a deal unless you have enough people that you can get the deals for. So, um, you know, a little salesmanship to make it happen. In any event, this is the most important thing, okay? I'm not going to get into like users and all that good jazz, but ultimately what this means is if we're a private company and we wanted to sell and we're trying to find comps and we're similar to Groupon, right? Maybe Groupon wants to buy us, right? Maybe we have another... 10 million users. And of those 10 million users, maybe 7 million of them are unique to to Groupon, right? Like they have 24 million. So now all of a sudden they can bump it up to 31 million, right? And immediately grow their business. Or maybe they take all 10 million, right? Because whatever we're doing here, we're generating revenue from. It doesn't really matter even if they have an overlay or not, because whatever our product is, they're engaging with it, right? They're responding to it. Uh, So that's a really important thing for you to understand. But bottom line is when we go and we communicate with a private equity firm or a Groupon to sell our company, right? We want to sell. The way we would look at it is we would go do research on all the companies in the space. And it says that right now, Groupon's trading at a five multiple, right? So 5X multiple, So if you take the 7.37 million, what you do, right? You can sell on different ways. You can sell on gross revenue um, or you can do it on net revenue. For me, listen, there's, there's different reasons. Some companies that are public need to build up their top line. Their top line is their gross revenue, right? But for me, that means nothing. I, I care about profit. I care about what are we making? Okay, you, you generate $100 million, but if you're making $5 million in EBITDA, right? $95 million is, is going to cost of running the business and generating this $5 million when we can just go here and do a $10 million business and generate $7.37 million. To me, that's exciting. To me, I work on the bottom line. If I were to sell a business, I would do it on the bottom line, right? I mean, Listen, if someone's a buy on a top line, then God bless you, right? Because if you look at it, the seven multiple times five is right here, $36,850,000. You can sell your company. Tot, right? Guys, 2025. So let's say you start it next month, right? So from, uh, let's say, June... 22nd to 23 to 24 to 25. So by June of 2025, if you can accomplish this, you could sell your company for 36 million bucks based on these numbers. I mean, wow. Right. And remember when we were looking at what the value per customer is, is 4167 in gross. So what we would look at, right, is if we looked at that to figure it out, so we would need value per customer equals. 4167. So 
that would mean that we need to generate 239,980 active subscribers. And 39,980 active subs over three years. If you're going to work on that same profit, then you would do it by, yeah, same thing, right? Doesn't matter. Same thing. Same, 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 same float, right? But that's the point, right? You can sell your company for 36 million. Now, maybe you want to sell it for 7X, right? Or maybe you make the case that it's all about leverage, right? You know, 10X, you know, if you were able to do five multiple times the top line, that'd be 50 million, right? Versus the 36, but you're not, there's no profit there. And you got to make the case and the company needs to buy to see like, how are they going to make their money back over time? What is, how does this make sense to us? You know, what does this look like? Are they going to have churn? Are the customers there to stay, right? How, how fast are you losing customers, right? What's the outlook of the business?